Right, <clears throat> I've done a fair bit of changes. So, just for the people, can you hear that? <laughs> Next door's drilling or whatever. For the people that have not been on these streams, we are porting the VIC-20 game Myriad onto Pi game. Now we're in the middle of porting it to the Commodore 64 and we we now know the mechanics of the game. We now know the mechanics of the game because we're porting it to the 64. So as a sort of Easter treat, we thought we'd um, port it to Python and Pi game because a lot of my viewers and patrons are learning Python and wanted to um, and wanted to um, code in Pi game. So that's what we're doing, right? So we've had two episodes of it. We've got pretty far along. But last night, I had a dream. A dream of a faraway land when coding wasn't impossible. And I had a bit of an, an epiphany. Epiphany, is that what it's called? An epiphany? And so... We decided not to make a, a base class for the alien. Well, last night, my subconscious told me off <laughs> and, and went, why didn't you do one? So, I've done one. This is what I've been doing this morning. So, we've created a base class called Hostile. So, the Hostile is based off element, our element class, yeah? So we inherit the element class, which has got all the default functionality of an element. But this is specifically aimed for the the hostile, right? So we we've got a specific set of animation, the the, the animation stuff. So that's what the initialization does, and it, the initialization default sets everything up, yeah. So we're loading the animation series, we're setting the frame. There's a new function called determine the initial position, which we was talking about yesterday. So I've put that in. Um, set the initial values. And also there's a new one called reflective. Is the, is the um, alien reflective of not? And reflective means it reflects the bullet back at us, yeah? So, and in this we have deter. You called it shielded. That's all right, mate. It's all right because we we gotta. I've got to figure out how to how to bring yours in. Yeah. So we've got um, a function called determine the initial position. So this determines the initial position of the the alien on the screen, right? And I've been testing this out big style to make sure that it does the rows and it does the columns and, and stuff right. So this determines the initial position, yeah? This determines which row we're on, yeah, which row it's gonna be put on. I've got a function that does the zigzag. So the zigzag is what the floaters do, yeah? But also the swoopers do it as well, they do the zigzag. So I've created a, uh, a function called zigzag movement. I've got a function that does the update movement timer. We have got functions that determine, have I hit the bottom of the screen right, I come to the top. So it's doing the wrap bottom to top. I've got a function that does left to right. So if we go off the left, it comes on the right. And if we go off the right, it comes on the left. I've got a function that determines if we've fallen off the bottom of the screen. If we have, then we flag it as dead. I've got a function now that to determine the random direction. So it determines the random direction, whether on DX or DY. Now, basically, what I've done is I've looked at the ASM code to see the, 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 the direction um, routines, and I have coded them in Python. So this was the random direction. So basically this was going, I'm gonna go in any direction, yeah? And we can apply it to DX or DY because all it's doing is returning zero, minus one or one, yeah? And Steve had put it that it was, and he'd split, because his random numbers were split between naught and 255, yeah? And he'd, he'd got the three points. So he'd 
255 divided by 3, which is like 55 AA, yeah? So he done it in thirds, and that's what I've done here, is a random number, and then we check for the thirds. I've also got a function called determine anti-clockwise direction. So if we run this, it will take where we are and determine which anti which is the next anti-clockwise direction, yeah? So I know, so if you would you didn't know didn't know what to do how to code it. Well, it's already done. It's in this base class. I've also done the clockwise direction. Yeah, I've also done the clockwise direction. I've also done the determine the change of direction. So this is where um, this is where we. I think I think the viruses use it. I think the fighters use it. Yeah, exactly, right? Um, and I, I'm not sure if the boxers use it. I know they use the anti-clockwise and clockwise one, but I don't know. Then I've got an, another one, which is another change of direction that's in Steve's code. Uh, and this one's a random change of direction. So basically, it's a 50-50 chance. Oh, they do use clockwise and anti-clockwise, right? So the, 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 the random chance is a 50-50 chance. You know, do we go anti-clockwise or clockwise? You check the ASM. Yeah, I've got the ASM open as well because <laughs> I'm working my way through the different changes. I've also got targeting the player AI. So when we're doing the viruses and the... Um, what was the other one? There's another one that targets... Um, the AI, uh, the user. Oh, I can't remember. Well, there's another one. So I've put a function that checks the player position compared to the hostile position and then readjusts its DX, yeah? That readjusts its DX. I've got a function which we haven't, I haven't coded yet, that's why it's got pass in there, which is to check whether we're going to add a flying rock, yeah? So there's a 4% chance we add an asteroid and there's a 4% chance where we could add a meteor. So that's in there. We just need to code it when we do the meteor and asteroid coding. And then I've got two routines that does a 4% chance and a 50% chance. And that's as far as I got. Yeah. So I changed floaters. So now this is floaters. This is the code for floaters. How small have we got it? <laughs> right. So basically, in initialization, we call the we call the hostile initialization system, yeah, and we pass in what the index of this hostile is and what wave we're on, we're on yeah. Then it sets up the reset timer because the reset timer could be different. The reset timer could be different for, um, and I've just got I just had a nasty. No, 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 I've tested it, I've tested it. I just, <laughs> my little voice in the back of my head just went, <laughs> um, Now, each each um, alien will have a different um, movement timer setting, yeah? So, at the moment, we've set the floaters, they, they move every second, right? So, they do a second's worth of moving before we determine the new position. Then they move another second before we determine the position. Then they move another second. Some of the aliens don't wait a second, yeah? They change position, say, half a second and stuff like that. So we've got the over the ability to override it. We've also got the ability to override DX and the previous. And I've also got a function here that says that depending on what row it is, which is what is the initial direction, yeah? So if we're on row zero, we're going in, DX is going to be one. Row one is going to be zero. Row two is going to be one. Row three is going to be zero, yeah? So that allows us to get the thing going. And then, the the basically the update is we check to see if we're off the bottom of the screen and wrap it to the top. We do the zigzag movement and we pass in our, our timer, yeah? And we then do the update of the movement timer, yeah? And then this is outside of the hostile um, 
the Ostile base class because we have, as you've done the boxes, we have the op the pro possibility we need to update two frames. Yeah. So I decided that I thought, nah, we're not going to put it in there because we may have to update two frames and it might just confuse it. So if we keep it in the update, then we're fine. Yeah. And so that's, that's what I've done. So if we run it, there we go. So we're on level four. So we got 20 bad guys on the screen, 20 aliens. And they're all doing the zigzag. It's quite hypnotic, isn't it? <laughs> it's quite hypnotic watching it. Um, I did consider adding the shield. F I did consider adding the shield frames onto the onto the end and just add in eight to the number of the shield. Yes. But then you've got, yeah, okay, I can see what you mean. But I think you've done it, I think you've done it the right way. I think you've done it the right way. It's just a customization of that, that particular alien, the boxers, yeah? Um, so, yeah. Oh, I love the way it does that. The space, the space between the alien. Oh, that's that's because um, I've said there's if you right. I'm going to try and pause it at the right time. There, there, right. Because I've gone and said there's a maximum of eight aliens per line. Yeah, I've gone and said there's a maximum of eight aliens per line. We've had to put a gap on either side of the extremes, yeah, to make sure they don't trigger the um, I'm falling off the edge of the screen thing. So when they're moving from side to side, you end up with that gap because that's the pad in between that side and that side. So you end up with this, with the gap in, in the lines. And that's purely because of the when we initialize it, we've got that gap at the start of the line and the gap at the end of the line to to avoid triggering the end of screen test, yeah? But that's it. That's all it is. And I'm happy with that, really, because we, if, if I mean, I, when, when I, when I did it to start with, I thought, oh, the stupid gap. So I, I put an alien on the edge and it would, and, and it just triggered it to go down and then it went all wrong, went all wrong. So, so I've decided, I've decided to, uh, just to um, leave it with the gap, yeah? Now, we have, we have a pull request from Sorry, uh, Sorcerer, yeah? So, um, so he's gone and he's gone and added the boxes. So we've got a brand new class, which is all about boxes. And then we he's changed player. Now I've changed player. Uh, sorry, game. I've changed game. So let's let's go back. I am going to, um, I'm going to stash my changes. I'm going to stash my changes. Um, oh. So let's stash all my changes. Um,
Right, okay. So I've just stashed all my, my changes, yeah? I've just stashed them all, and we'll bring them back, yeah? So I am going to... I'm going to merge your stuff in. Right, merge pull request. Go. So that should now be... So there's boxes, so that should now be there. So I am going to now do a fetch. So I'm fetching. So down here it should say, there you go. Three changes. So I'm going to grab them. There we go. So there's your changes in here. So boxes, so we've got a new box. And we have the changes to the game. So let's see if we're still working. Ooh, what we got? Oh, he fell into my mistake, mate. He fell into my mistake. Where are we? Come here. Where is it? Where's the offender? Ooh. Oh. Rats. Rats, rats, rats. The font's gone. The font's gone okay let me just let me just sort out and then i'll apply my stash back um boxes where's dy that's capitalized that's capitalized there it is all right let's try that again Hey! <laughs> nice! Right then, let's let's bring my stash changes back. So, um, let's bring them back, apply stash. Yeah, that's what I want to do. There we go. Right. So this stash should go now. We'll delete that in a bit. We'll delete that in a bit. Right. So let's change boxes to have the new... To have the new um, thing. So boxes. Right. So instead of element now, we're doing hostile. Right, let's get some panes up and running. Right, so that's boxes. We don't want boxes. I want floaters. I want floaters on that side. I want to compare like for like. Right, so we don't need to do this because um, cause it's... Now, the problem is the boxes are wave four, yeah? The boxes are wave four. So... What I was thinking of was um, 14 and 15 would make way... No, boxes, boxes are way four, aren't they? Oh, my brain's gone. 
My brain's gone. Um, Constance, where is it? Right. Boxes are wave th five. Wave five. Yeah, wave five. So what I was thinking of is the changing the uh, changing the 14 and 15 aliens to be wave five. So we'll make wave five that it is now. Uh, so the, the, yeah, the wave five aliens that it is now make it uh, 14. Yeah. And then combine the 14 and 15 into wave 5. Yeah. And what, the way I was going to do it was. Um, 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 I was going to have a 1 I think. I was going to put a 1 on it. I think. So let me. Um, let me try and explain what I was going to do. Let me try and explain what I was going to do. So, uh, uh, GitHub. Uh, 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 Python. Myriad. So in the aliens, right, here we go, spaceships. I was got, I was... So wave five is, is this one, right? So I was going to make that, I was going to make them wave 14. So let me just modify this to that. Make this wave 14. We'll need to rename. We'll need to rename them, and I'll we'll I'll get that. In fact, I'll get that. I'll get that fired up, ready. What are you doing in here? Hey? Your your sleepy time of day. Your sleepy time of day today. <laughs> You're supposed to be asleep. Anyway. Right. Then we'll change this to be wave five. Right, so let's get these renamed first. Uh, Got to remember where everything is. I'm going to keep this open, I think. Right, so these need to be, so do that. Three digits starting at zero. Right, so we are alien 04. And we'll keep it like so. And that should be okay. Yeah. Oh, 05. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That would have been embarrassing. There you go, mate. That would have been embarrassing. Right, so 05. And we'll apply the changes. Right, so now, what I was thinking was for wave, for wave 15, we'll grab that, put it into wave 5, And we keep it like that, yeah. So, Alien One Five is the is the shielded version, and Alien O Five is the unshielded version, yeah. And it sort of it sort of you know works because we're differentiating between the two, but we're keeping the index number the same, yeah. So if we're red, we're going to see a shielded red, and it, it it sort of works, yeah. So let's go to, I think it was fifteen, no fourteen. There we go. So we'll make that alien fourteen. Now, 
because we're using 15 elsewhere now, we need to remove 15 and make this 15 and make this 16. Oh, come on, rename. Right. I'm still I'm still thinking of using these, but what I'll do is I will make it wave XX and we'll move them out the way. Because whoa, they're getting a bit getting a bit in the way. So we'll move that into that. Right. So we have on wave five we have the two. So I need to rename wave 15 and wave 16 now, yeah? So that's wave, that's 15. This one is 16. And you'll see why I'm, I'm, I'm a bit OCD about the naming, you'll see, you'll see why. And wave 17 doesn't exist anymore. There we go, wave XX. And we'll we'll name that XX just to be consistent. Right, we'll leave that there just in case. And the reason why the, the naming's important, yeah, is because um, here. Hey Fairline, happy Easter mate. Um here we are using the wave to determine to determine the um, the one the directory yeah the one the directory and two the alien name yeah so we're going to copy this into there so basically that's going to and we'll copy we'll copy that because the signature is now changed So we're basically loading, doing this. We're basically doing that, yeah? We're basically doing that. All right, so we'll get rid of that because we don't need it. We'll still need the animation set, yeah? Because that's where you're doing the copy. And then we will do the same thing again. Now the, the, um, image directory should be the same. The image directory should be the same. Um, so we don't need to do the init. Didn't need to do it twice, mate. Didn't need to do it twice. But we, uh, the number of frames is still the same. And we are now doing alien 15, yeah? So we're manually loading this uh, animation set because this is unique this is unique to this this bad guy this alien and then we're still doing the random but I don't think we need to do the random because that is actually in hostile yeah all right so Uh, we don't need to do that. We need the my value because that is different. You've called it shielded. I called it um, reflective, didn't I? I called it reflective. So we'll keep we'll keep that. Yeah, we'll change yours to, from shielded to be reflective. Um, we've got that because it could be different, and we'll change that to one. Um, this is the default. Okay, mate. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to upset. Um, speed is speed is two. I think speed is set to two. Yeah, speed is set to two. So we don't need that. Self that and that. We will probably. Is the initial direction the is the initial direction the same as the floaters? 
Oh, we'll have to have a look. We'll have to have a look at the code. Well, to be honest, mate, there's not going to be a lot of changes. We're, we're, all we're doing is we're, we're just making it go into hostile. Um, boxes. Where's aliens? Right, let's load that up. Right, so this is this is the assembly code, yeah? So we're looking for boxes. Buzzers, meteorites. Boxes. Oh, it's a diagonal start position. So we're doing the normal start position, but then we're doing the diagonal. We're doing the di I've got to find that. Calculate diagonal start position. Right, so that's in L that's in I've got elements open, I think, somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Calculate. Oh, there it is. Right right there. Right there. Okay, so that's determining a random direction. Right, let's put that into hostiles. Let's put that into hostiles. So I'll put it underneath the determines, which is this lot here. So this is def. Um, Determine diag diag now random x down for y is it? Oh, so it is. Right, okay. Diagonal uh, start direction. I won't call it position because it's not actually the position, is it? So uh, self comma d uh, d x comma d y. Right. So <laughs> you got there, but ran out of time. That's fine. That's fine. So um, so x is. Random, right, so random change of direction. Now we've got that up here. Here. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to say while. Um, yeah, while. Um, Set dx to be naught. There we go. While dx equals naught, go round. So dx equals determine random direction. Because there's a there's a the the routine right. The routine does if it's zero to recalculate to to go back right. So we're saying. Oops. So if dx is equal to zero, keep looping, yeah? So if dx becomes non-zero, so minus one or plus one, then it'll come out. That'll do. So we've worked dx and dy is equal to um, one, yeah? Why are you not liking that? DY's there. Am I mis am I misdoing while? I'm, I shouldn't. I'm not doing. Oh, while. That's right. Oops. Why is that not highlighting up? It's doing it here as well. 
Oh, that's weird. Must be the extension. Right, so we'll determine the diagonal start position. Right, so boxes. So um, self dot determine the start position of self dot dx comma self dot dy. Now that that should um, that should because these are these are ref these are references. So it should actually come back out with the right references, and we'll put a we'll put a um, a thingy on it anyway. Right. So you've got here. So you've got a test where if it. All right. So you're testing the boundaries and just bouncing off it. But why? Why, when it goes to the bottom, it comes back at the top. Yeah. So we'll need the wrap. We'll need the wrap because when it when it goes off the bottom, they reappear at the top. So we don't need this. And where's the execute? Right. Right, I've got a 50% test. Yeah. Let's put that there. So we can use the 50% test. Yeah. So we can say then that does the 50% chance of changing, yeah? Right, so it's the X that I'm a little bit concerned about. Let's let's fire up the video. Because I think, oh adverts, this guy's making so much money out of me on YouTube. <laughs> right, boxes, back a bit. Right, so there's the swooper. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it does. It wraps. Right. It wraps on the screen. Saw it wrap. Right. So we'll put the wrap in. So we'll put the. So we're going to do self dot wrap left and right. Yeah. So wrap left and right. So we don't need this. Right. We just need to do the movement timer. Now I've put the, that's the zigzag, but I put the movement timer into the zigzag. Now, <laughs> Aston's moaning, oh, why is he moaning? <laughs> right. But I'm going to keep out I'm going to keep out this. So, a 22% chance. So that's what I need in here, don't I? I need a 22% chance. So, 22% chance. Random, 22. 
So we'll put that in here. So it has a 22% chance of changing the direction, yeah? So it's doing ran it's doing random direction move two. So where's my elements? Random direction move two. Have I not done that one? Oh, that's the um That's in common, isn't it? Where did I put common functions? Utils. Oh, I've got utils open. Hang on. There it is. I am looking for... Your screen goes blurry. No, it's normal HD. No, it's normal HD. It's not... Um... I, I can't stream 4K. Uh, right, let's find... Oh, it's not in there. I think... Is this common functions? No, this is utils. I wonder if common function... Oh, common functions are in aliens, aren't they? Hang on. Is it in here? Yeah, here we go. Common functions are in aliens. So it's doing common execute to, right, this is it here. So we're testing whether it's off the screen. Yeah, it's here, it's, it's here. So, um, Fifty percent change chance change of direction. Evaluate new right, I've got to see if I've got these. Did I put these in here? Evaluating a new evaluating a new direction. Oh, that's doing the route. That's doing the route. That's doing this. Yeah, that's doing that. Let's evaluate new direction. And then the other one. So it's doing a 50% uh, chance of change of direction, which comes down here which does evaluate a new direction and then it does the 22% chance so it does two does two tests and both of them are doing the same thing so if it doesn't do Fifty percent change of direction. If there's no change, it comes back out and then does the twenty. All right. So there's all right. So it can do two changes of direction. 
that's strange that it does two changes of direction. They are both the same. Oh, the change of direction is based on DX and DY. Ah, now I understand. Now I understand. Right, so let's try and reflect this, yeah? Let's try and reflect this. So we are... <laughs> Your brain hurts. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it, because we on the 50% chance change of direction, then there's another 22% chance we could change that direction based on the current state. So, first things first, we are checking, we are checking that we're not... We're, right, so we're saying if off the left hand side. Now we don't check the left hand side, we just say we're off the screen. How are we gonna, do I have to put in left hand sides in? May, may have to. May, may have to. That's in elements, isn't it? This allowed to move. Maybe we need to put two more tests in there to do left and right. We can do that. We can do that. Right. Um... Right, falling off right hand side. So falling off right hand side, we need we don't need to use Y. So let's get rid of Y. Right, so falling off right hand side. So we don't need the height either. And we don't need to put Y in there either. So falling off the right hand side is that way. So we don't need that. If x plus width, no right and yeah, right hand side is that. Right hand side. Get me get me hands right, John. Right hand side is that. So the left hand side is that. Let me just f check what off screen left does. Yeah, we do need them separate. I'm just seeing I'm just seeing what it does. It's only testing, it's not doing any update, is it? So it's only, it's only testing. It's only testing, so it's not actually doing any update. So that's fine. So we've got two we've got two more tests. We've got falling off right hand side, falling off left hand side. So we can do we can now put that in here. Yeah. So we have a twenty two percent chance. And we do the left hand we do the left hand test first. So if um, self dot uh, falling off left hand side 
self.x. We're only putting... Yeah, we're only putting x in. Right, so... Um, if we are falling... If we're falling... Right, so if we're falling... So this is... Um, I just want to make sure, and this is just to make under just to make sure that we understand because if we hit the left hand side, we're always going to return. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Do I need to change this because we're falling off the right? Fall it right, we need to say true and then false. True, true that we have fallen off the, the side, false we haven't. Right, let's get the, there we go. That would have been embarrassing, wouldn't it? Right, so have we fallen off the left hand side? Yes, we have, yeah? That's here, and then no, we haven't. Right, so we have a 50% chance of change of direction. Yeah, it's all right, mate. I'm just, uh, I'm just, just trying to, and we'll put these comments here instead. Right. So, so if we've fallen off the left hand side where the carries is set, we're doing. Bless you, and again. Right, so if, so if we have hit the 50% mark, then we're doing the, um, We are doing this. We are doing that. And we need to pass in DX and DY. If we didn't hit, right? So Basically, we're here, right? If we fell off the screen, then we come to the left, this here. Uh, sorry, if we fell off the screen, the carry was set, so we're doing here. So 50% change of direction. If we didn't do the 50% change, yeah. Oh, and then we do the 22% change of direction. Okay. So we're doing both. Right, then we do self dot uh, 22% change of direction. So what are we doing? What are we doing? What's 22% change of direction? Doing that. Evaluate new direction. So we're just running it again. Just running it again. That's it. Now, if we didn't fall off the edge of the screen, if we didn't fall off the edge of the screen, that means we're going to the left hand side, which is here. So if we did, oh, we're testing the right hand side, okay. So else, um,
So from there, we move to here. We've just done this. So if it's true, then we do the right hand side, which is this again. So that's this again. That's that. So if we did fall off, we do what we've just done before. If we didn't fall off, then we just do the 22% 20, chance. That's this here. Does that... Whoops. Does that look about right? Because we do. Yes. Yeah. So I think that's that's I think that's it. Now I'm just wondering if I'm just wondering if we can simplify this. I'm just wondering if we can simplify this. We can simplify this, can't we? Why not if, or as both ifs are the same? Well, this is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm looking at. I'm sure we can simplify this. Because I've... i got a sneaky suspicion. i got a sneaky suspicion. Right. I've got a sneaky suspicion that this, this is going to be the same as doing this. We don't need that. And we don't, we move that there. Now, leave that there, but this, this, we can do this, and get rid of that. Or can we? Yeah, because it's always going to run the 22% chance anyway. The only reason you're doing the 50 is if it hits the boundary, we're, we're trying to move it, make it move away. Doesn't quite do it all the time, but then that should do it. That should, that should simplify it. So 
So if we, if we hit the left hand side, then we have a 50% chance of changing direction. If we hit the right hand side, we've got a 50% chance of changing direction. Any other time, we do a 22% chance of changing direction. No matter what, it always happens. Right. Cool, that took some mental agility, didn't it? Right, let's see. Can we move line 30 also? Okay. Right, so we've got a bit of a got a bit of a problem here. Now this There we go. Right. So, let's do this, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see if it works. Oh, wave 01. Why is it doing wave 01? Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Where's my wave? Wave 5. Not supported between instances of uh, random. Or oh, I put a capital in there. Where are we? Um, hostile. Uh, what line? 191. Right, okay. One nine one. What's that saying? Not supported between instances of random and float. Okay. Um. Right, let's try it again. Oh, he said the scaling was different. He said the scaling was different. What did I put as the scaling? Oh, point two. Okay, then um, we will we will put the scaling factor in. So wave scale, and we'll default it to point two. If so, if you don't specify, we'll depoint it to point two. Scale, we'll put that in there, and here when we initialize it. We will put it at 0 
There we go. Well, that is not doing any sort of randomization whatsoever. Right, let's put it back to level one. So we just have the five. Yeah, and I am just, oh, uh, something's just cropped to my mind. Right, so here. Update movement timer. We hadn't finished all this, had we? Does this happen every time the movement timer is zero, yeah? It's a 50% chance of it flipping, yeah? Oh, that still says wave 15. We don't need to do that. I wonder if that was it. No. I just removed, oh, okay. Um, Let's put a break point here. I just want to see what um, what we're getting. And it would help me if I was on the right file. There we go. Right, so we're in self. So we should have two animation sets. And we do. Uh, I don't know what they are though, because we can't look at them. We've definitely got two animation sets. Right, so let's... Um, let's run through the update. Let's run through the update, let's see what's going on. Is timer, is momentum timer zero? No, it's one. So we are going to put a break point there because we want to go in when it fires. Here we go. So, are we falling off the edge of the screen? Let's have a look. No, we're not. Are we falling off the right hand screen? No, we're not. Right, 22% chance of changing of direction. False. So we don't even change the direction and then a 50% chance to change False. Wow. Didn't do anything there. Not falling off the edge of the screen. Not falling off there. False. Oh, now we're getting a true. Here we go. Reflective is e reflective is equal to not reflective. So we was, so if we do self, 
find reflective so it's false so once we go this should go to true which it is then we're going to jump over the movement timer if reflective set animation frame to be shielded right so let's stop this and we'll run it properly so we should get we should get it going changing okay so if we're changing if we're changing the oh 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 yes, oh yes. Happiest face. Oh yes, I think I know what the problem is. Right, I think that was the issue. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Right, so I'm going to I'm going to take out. Yeah, we're fixing the movement. I'm going to take that out. I'm just wondering if that's getting in the way. Yeah. No, they're not. They're not starting diagonals, are they? <laughs> right, we'll put a break point there and we'll see we'll see what's going off, yeah. So we're gonna see what the the startup's doing. So here we go. So we've got the startup, so let's I don't know if you can see that down there. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Right, I've made it. I've made it a lot big. Right, so we're looking at dx and dy. Yeah, uh, sorry. We're sending in DX and DY. So DX and DY is 1 and 0. So let's go into it. So now it's doing the... Now it's doing the... D, the, the, um, the, the random. Right. Let me kill that. And kill that. And kill that. Next. There we go. So, it's doing the determinant, so we set dy to zero, which it won't be, but it's local at the moment. So hopefully this will reflect back. This is what I'm thinking, maybe it's not reflecting back. And if it is, if it isn't, then I've got to change the whole hostile uh, class. Right, so let's find out, shall we? So dx is equal to zero, so we do another random change. So we ret oh we return zero oh right do it again oh return one minus one right here we go so dx is minus one it jumps out dy is equal to one now did we change it no we didn't let's move away. I don't think it changed it. I do not think it changed it. Uh, we can look. We can look in hostiles. Where's hostiles? Um, I 
Oh, I've not added it yet. Hang on. Not added it yet. That's it. Now it's had added. Oh, I can't see inside it. Cannot see inside it. Right. Um. Let's do something about that. Boxes. We need to see what we need to see inside it. So let's put a right. I'm going to put the break point there. Well, I don't need to. I've got that break point there. Right. Here we go. We're going to run it again. Right, jump in two. Right, DX is pick a number. Right, so it's come back with one. DY is one. Return. Right, let's look at the self. It's not re right. Okay, so that's the problem. It's not reflecting back out. So it's not true. It's not true relation. It's not true referencing. So that means I've got to change this whole hostile thing. Ugh. Right. Right, that is a bit annoying, that is. Right. So here. Self dot. I thought it was reflect reflecting through, but it doesn't. So we just need to do all this. Dot net does. Miss 119. Oh, thank you. Thank you, mate. Try that again. Right, so we're moving down the screen now. So it's moving down now. So we've got a problem that am I still missing some DXs? Right, so we're testing DX and DY in there. Technically, I don't need to do this now, do I? Technically, I don't need to do that. Same with that. Don't need to do that. I'm not missing a DX anywhere, am I? 
So why is it not moving? Um, right. I'm making a global decision here. Global decision. Right. Global decision, setting it so we're not passing anything through. So hopefully I've got them all. Um, determine change of direction. Well, we don't need that now. Don't need that. Don't need that. And that's it, I think. Right. Do we have any sort of diagonal movement? No. Now, why would that be? Why would that be? Why would that be? That would be because we're not actually moving. Yeah, they do. As soon as they get into X equals minus one, that's it, they're stuck. Have I got any? If dx equals minus 1, and not going up, yeah. break point on um, boxes maybe I shouldn't do that maybe I shouldn't do that right um, hostiles what what's that entailing that's doing the move that's doing the move Maybe we just should just do the move. Maybe we should just do the move. Because um, I'm wondering if the... I'm just wondering if it's the, the, the wrapping is getting in the way. Um, 
Um, I need, I need, I need, what do I need to do? element where what we're doing in move we're doing something in moving element so we're not testing for border Yeah. Let's do it again. I think this I think we're still getting cuz look. That's it. Maybe, maybe not even doing the move. Maybe we should we should just handle it. Let's just let's just do it. But that has gone off the screen. Now that has gone off the screen. But it's going up there. When they go up there, they're gone. They disappear altogether. Um, Maybe the left and right test, we, the the left and right test, you know, falling off the bottom. We need to make a bit more um, robust here. Where we test. Um, oh, where's that test gone? We do test, don't we? That's what I want, falling. Or did I put it here? Ah, here we go. This is where I put it. Um, maybe we need to... Um, I think it's getting mixed up with this here. So maybe we need to um, do this. We need to preempt. No, have I gone the wrong way? Maybe it's point seven five.
No, we are still... We are still not firing on that. Right. We are still not... F right, width equals the width of that times x minus 75. So that would make it bigger. Let's do it by the width. It's not changing direction at all. It's not changing direction at all. Right, let's put a break point there. We're gonna put a break point there and we're gonna run it to see what it's doing. And then we'll, we'll, we'll leave this and then we'll go to we'll determine, oh, might as well. Right, what do we get, DX? DX is still zero. My, oh, minus one and one, okay. Right, let's get rid of that break point because that's gonna get really, really annoying very quick. And we can check, we can check what initial values it was given. So we got two going one and two minus ones. Okay, so that's fine. Right, let's find out what's going off. So we've gone into the, the movement and we're... Oh, I don't want that break point either, do I? Go on, off you go, do it again. Oh, why are you breaking? I ain't got a break point on you, have I? Oh, go away. I don't think I, I've got two on the elements. Yeah, I didn't think I had a break point anywhere else. Why are you breaking there? Go away. Hang on. I think this is having a bit of a fit. Right. Put a break point there, put a break point there. Mine is showing one in boxes. Yeah, X is the center of the image, yeah? Why is it break breaking there? Here we go, here we go. Right, so falling off the left hand side, how are we gonna fall? So width, width is set to 53. And X is, so that's not going to, yeah, that's returning full. So we're not falling off the right, hand, right, okay. Let me change the break points. I want to so we know that it's we know it's coming here but I want to determine whether it's saying that we're falling off the edge of the screen oh there we go right so it turns true then we do a 50% chance of changing direction and you're going to change the direction 
and then we're going right let's see if it's going to do it right dx and d right dx is minus one and dy is one so so it comes in here minus one so it's not that so it's going to do this a change anti-clockwise so dx is minus one so dy is one so it's going to change dy oh that's a bit that's not good i i've got this wrong hang on i've got this wrong Right, let's work out the anti-clockwise again. I think I've got these wrong. Anti-clockwise change in direction, here we go. So if X, if X is minus one, then we load Y. If Y is minus one, then we set Y to be zero, yeah? If y is equal to zero, then we set y to, oh, right, so we set y to one. Yes, we set, so if it's equal, we set y to one. Right, this is this is where I've gone, gone wrong. And if y is minus, then we set y to zero. Right. So, if x is 0, which is here, then we're testing y. And if y is 1, then we're setting x to be 1, yeah? And if any other value, we're setting x to be minus 1. So, that's right. So, the next one is this one here. So, we're loading y. If y is equal to 0... Then we're setting y to be minus 1. If y is minus 1, then we're setting x to be 0. And if y is 1, then we're setting y to be 0. Right, so that's the clockwise one. Now this is the anti... So that's the anti-clockwise. Now we're doing the clockwise. So loading x first. So we are going to do the the minus one so we're loading y if y is equal to zero then we set y to minus one if y is minus one then we set x to be zero and if y is plus one then we set y to zero okay so if x is zero so that's coming to here then y is one we set to minus 1, x to minus 1, and everything else sets x to 1. If we are x is 1, which is this one, then y, if y is 0, then we're setting y to 1. If y is 1, then we're setting x, if y is 1, we're setting x to 0, which we're doing. And if y is minus 1, then we're setting y to 0. Okay, we may have, we may have had, maybe that was the issue. Yeah, I'll ch check the ante. Wrong one. That one. Right. So, anti hostile. Go to anti. So, there's the anti, right? So, I'm. Oops. 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 I'm just going to make it so we can see it all. Right. So, there's the anti. And there's the anti here. So if x is 0, that means we're doing this here. So y 
is zero would set y. If y is minus one, it sets y to zero. If y is one, it sets x. Oh, yes. I think you're thinking about that, aren't you? Oh, I've got too many word docs open. Right. If y is minus one, we set. Right, let's let's do this right. If y is minus one, we set y to zero. If y is one, we set x to zero. And if y is zero, we set y to one. Okay. Good spot there, mate. <laughs> Good spot. Um if x is zero, then we do this. So if x is zero, um, then if y is one, we set x to be one. And if any other value, we set x to be minus one. And the last one is where x, where x is one. So x is one, test y. If y is minus one, then we set y to, we set y to zero. If we if y is minus one, that's this one here, we set y to zero. If y is oh no. Oh hang on. Got and get myself all mixed up. X is zero. Yeah, we were right to start with. This is the minus one here. So that's minus, that's minus one, set x to zero. Equal, set y to minus one. Everything else, set y to zero. Right, that. So we did have a few problems in there. So let's let's see if it, um, see if the direction change works this time. Come on. Right, so this is saying we are changing direction. So we're falling off, we've got a 50% change and it's going to change it. So we're going to determine. So let's see. So DX and DY are one. Yeah. DX and DY are one. So DY is one. DX is one. So we're going to do a clockwise change. So here we go. So dx is minus one. No, dx is zero. No, yes, dx is one. Now dy is one. So we are going to change dx to be zero. It did. Then we're going to do it again. dx is not minus one. dx is that one. dy is still one. So we're going to change dx to be minus one. Right. Are we falling off the right hand side? Which we shouldn't be because we've just done the left hand side. Now we've got the 22% chance. Right. Right, let's see. That did a proper change, didn't it? Right, let's take the break points out. And let's just run it. They're all, they're all, um, It must be just me, but it, that looks like it's working, isn't it? That looks like it's working, doesn't it? They always go down, they don't go up, yeah? 
they should go up sometimes too, do they? No, they don't. That it's always going down. They're always going down. So it's right. So it's right. Okay. So now, to finish this, finish this alien type off, we need to um, go into game. We need to go into game, and then do you know where we're testing? I th I think you're probably thinking about the fighters, mate. They go up. I think you're probably thinking about the fighters. So now we're going to implement the um, the well. Now we'll do that in a bit. We'll do that in a bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test. Yeah, I'm going to test. Oh, you've got shielded. Right, that's reflective, isn't it? Just make sure I've got the right one. Right. So you've already put it in. Which I'm really, really pleased about. <laughs> right, so as a test, if any of the alien, if any of them are white, we shouldn't be able to blow them up. So let's. Look, we don't, we can't, we don't blow them up. But it blows up when they're not white. Nice, 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 nice. Hey, <laughs> right. So, um, so that's the boxes. So, do do we want to do an other alien type, or do we want to do the meteors? Um, I'll give the choice to you guys. Now I know, now I know, um, if we do another alien type, I know that Gary's doing, Gary's doing, what did you say he was doing, Gary? Gary, what did you say he was doing? I can't find it. Oh, he's doing the swoopers. So the swoopers are... Let's go back here. Right, so the swoopers are level two. Right, so, um, so what should we, what, what should we do? Should we go, should we put the, should we implement meteors and asteroids or? Do you want another alien type? Because I want I want you guys to I want you guys to do the alien types, yeah. But you don't have to do them all. But I want you to have a crack at it. So what? I, let let me let me do this right. Let first things first. Let me upload. What's this? 
Oh, this is merge changes. Right, so that's merge changes, okay. Bring that out. So we're gonna add boxes, we're gonna add the element and we're gonna add the hostile. And we changed, we changed the aliens, didn't we? We changed the aliens. So it's these here. Wave five. So we'll add those. Wave 14 we changed and wave 16 we changed. Add those. Wave 17 we changed, we'll add those. And we'll add those. So you guys are the same as me. Is there anything else that have changed? Right, right there isn't. So what I'm gonna do is, it's two o'clock, so. So we'll send them to, we'll send them to Git. send them to get right you should be able to grab you should be able to grab what the code I've just changed yeah if you do fetch so um, what should we do what should we do what I wanted to do is add the val I wanted to do the values the points yeah so let's do the points yeah because um, Because it's interesting. The thing is, I wanted to, the, before doing the stream, wanted to do some research about the text, but seeing as that we're, we're here and I'd run out of time. So let's have a look. Text. Ba, 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 freeze. Text, text, text. I can't see. Font. Here we go. Right, font in it. What's that do? This method will is called automatically to initialize the font module. All oh, right, well we do that anyway. Uh, get default font, get font, so list string, match font. System font font. Oh, we can have a path. Oh nice. Oh nice. <laughs> oh nice. Right. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. Because I do have fonts that I found that I thought would be interesting to use. Uh, can I do a preview? There we go, there's that font, which I thought we could use as the title screen because Myriad's very similar to this sort of font. And then there's this one, which I thought we could use for the points. The point system. It's very quirky and bubbly and childlike. So let's see if we can do the points. All right, so when, when we blow up, when we when we explode, there's going to be the point value on the screen that's going to fade away. Yeah, so it's going to be very similar to what I did in uh, pyroids. So let me load pyroids up. Um, more. There we go, pyroids. So it's going to be very similar to pyroids.
Right, so watch when I blow up. See that 20? 50. 50. That's what I wanted to do, is I wanted to put the points value on the things that blow up, yeah? So, that's what we're going to try and do, yeah? Are you with me? Or are you not? <laughs> Please say you're with me. <laughs> Please say you're with me. Right, let's create a new class. You're still awake. <laughs> so I, I, I don't want this to be dry and droney and, and all that. Right, so let's do the, the standard in point. I'm not talking to myself. Thank you. <laughs> not very well. <laughs> Who's not... not uh, oh... That you're not keeping up with me. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. Right, so let's create a class called points. And um, we are not going to inherit anything. Because this is not an element. It has no... You're enjoying some Easter things while watching. Oh, you're chomping on chocolate, are you? <laughs> right. So, we don't need that. Right, so settings. Right, settings. Let's put a new class in here. So, font. Font. Uh, oh no, we're not call it call it fonts. That's it. So uh, font size. Oh no, no worries, mate. No worries. No worries. Oh, you you you're having problems with swoopers. Okay, mate. That's all right. I, I'll I'll. That's all right, mate. We'll help you out as much as I can. So size, so we're going to say, let's say the font size, we'll, we'll do 22, yeah, to do at the moment. Um, in fact, we won't call it fonts, we'll call it point. And then we'll call it font size, yeah. Um, um, how long? Um, on screen uh, duration. Equal say they're on screen for three seconds, which means it will have a persistence and no no call alpha alpha reduction. There we go. Equals um, so alpha is two five five divided by uh, on screen duration times frames per second so that's how much we're going to ch reduce our alpha value over the three second period yeah yeah so our uh, default default alpha is equal to that alpha Oops, alpha is equal to that, and we'll change that to be that. Right. Um, what else? What else? Um, okay, mate. But you've seen me use debugger. You, you, is yours doing the same thing? You're using debugger like I am. Yeah. You've seen me use debugger, yeah? Sometimes it has a bit of a quirk, but it's fine, yeah? Um, what else? So we've done the font size. Um, 
I'm not going to do I'm not going to do the font but I will I will will default the directory where the font is so uh, font dir is going to be equal to assets because we're going to be doing it direct um, fonts yeah that's fine that's fine Mrs. OSK is streaming tonight. Um, so that's the font directory where we're going to put the fonts. Um, any Anything else that I need for defaulting? Um, du -du 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 no. Let's try. Right, let's get into this. Right. So, um, we need to do an init for it. Now, what we're going to do, let's put the game in, because we always need to know what the game is. Um, where are we going to place it? X and Y. Um, value. What is the point value? And... font name so that's the font name that we're going to use so font name plus equals dot t t f f is it t f f or t f t t t f so we're only going to put the we're only going to put the font name in, yeah. Thank you. We're only going to put the font name in. We will add the extension to it to make sure. So we're gonna we're gonna pretend, yeah. So self dot x equals x. Self dot y equals y. Um, what else do we need? Um, uh, self dot value equals value. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I should be used to be not doing that. I'm going to leave X and Y like that. Um, oh, one thing we are missing. Um, we need to initial. We need to initialize the so self. But we've done that in we've done that in the settings. Don't need to do that here. Um, self, yes, yeah, self. Equal settings dot points dot default alpha. Um, and self dot game equals game. Bless you. Right. Um, so, def. So we need a draw. We need to do draw. Because we need to draw them on the screen. So this is where we're going to mess around now with this directory. So. Pygame.font.font. .font. Right. So, pi game font equals pi game dot font dot font. Right, and in that font, we put in the path. So the path is going to be settings dot point dot path did I put it yeah I did put the backslash at the end of it plus uh, self dot oh good good job doing that self dot file name equals file name uh, font name uh, 
Good job on doing that. Font name. Comma. Font size. Right, so that's what the font font does, right? Oh, let me just scroll that up a bit. So I've got the documentation here. So this is the one we're doing, yeah? Pygame.font.font. And the one we're doing is this one, which is where we can get the font from a path, yeah? So the end result is the font, which is what we've called PG font, yeah? And we are doing pygame.font.font, .font. right? And we send in the path and then the font size, which is what we're doing. We're sending in the path and then the font size. So that's, that's now created our font, yeah? That's created our font in Pygame. So, to draw, we then need to, um, we need to render it onto the surface and luckily, luckily we brought game in because game has the surface, which is this self.screen. So game has the surface, so luckily we can use the, the game to um, do it. So, so text, so we have to create a surface. Text surface equals um, font, font, it's not font is it, it's PG font. Oh, is it PG font? Hang on, I'm trying to think. Yeah, PG font. I think it's PG font. We're using that font. Dot render. Dot render, and then we're going to render what's inside. So, str. So we're going to stringify self dot value. Stringify self dot value, comma. Now let's find the render. Yeah, font dot render. So the text. Oh, whether it's anti alias. Whatever that means. Are we anti alias? Yes, we are. We are definitely anti alias. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Color. Color, um, color, color. So, what color should we give it? Um, so, the explosion's more of an orangey, isn't it? So, what complements orange? What's a, a thing that complements orange? We can't use black because the background's very dark. So we need something very bright. Uh, just for a giggle. Let's do cyan. Just for a giggle. And do do we um, do we do we do we do we do we do we bright bluish? Yeah, cyan. I don't know, let's have a look. Is there a light blue? Yes, light blue. Let's do that. Just for a giggle, then we can work out what colours we can do later. Um, okay, cyan. And and then we need the background. So the background um, has to be our al that has to be our alpha. 
Yeah? Uh, well, no. No, we... Ooh. What is cyan? Oh, not 238238. So he's full blown cyan, not 255255. Right, okay. Okay. Because I've just remembered this is the colour, right? This is the colour. So. So cyan is not. So cyan is not two five five two five five, right? And we're going to use that, and we're using the alpha value. So if it was blue, right? If it was blue, we'd be not not red, red green blue, not not alpha. Yeah, that's 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 the thing. Right, okay, so that's still cyan there. That's still cyan. Um, then, oh yeah, we need to get the, we need to get its rectangle. Uh, not rec, it's um, get rec. Get its rectangle. So, so now we've got its rectangle. Um, we can. We need to set. We need to set where it's going to be placed. <laughs> ice, ice cream van. Ice cream van. Um, that is spelt right, I think. Yeah, center X. <laughs> yeah, I'll have one of those as well. Okie van, okie van. And then we need to place this on the screen. So self dot game dot screen. Is it a capital S? I can't remember. Or oh, little s. Oh, it's little s. Screen. And we're going to blitz it to the screen. Yeah. Um, text surface. And text, and we're going to place it where the text, where we've told it where the text rec is. So that draws it. And then we need to do an update. All right. And the update is basically going to do self.alpha. Plus, oh no, minus equal uh, settings dot points dot alpha reduction. So it's minus, we're doing a minus, 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 that's what we're doing. And then if alpha Oh, I've called it capital, and I. No, 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 no. I keep forgetting. It's less than zero. Then alpha is zero. Okay, that should do it. And then what we need to do is in game, 
where we've got the explosion. Right, where we do the explosion here. So we've got the hostile. Yeah, if the hostile is reflective, it's not doing it. Um, so here, what we need to do is we need to then do um, self dot points dot append. Uh, we need to import point. So point dot point. Oh, this is going to be pla this is going to play silly silly sausage, isn't it? Right, point equals no um, hostile points equals point dot point oh this is not liking it is it oh that's because ah. uh, you should be right now let's do that There we go. So in point, we're sending in it, the game. So that's self. Um, X, Y. So that's going to be each hostile dot X, comma, each hostile, comma, Y. Then the value, which is each hostile dot ooh what did we call it my value and then the font name which is vinegar stroke So that creates the point. Now I'm sure I can do this. I thought I could. So we add the points to the array of points. Yeah. And then what we need to do in game is then we need to act on the points. Yeah. So, um, when we do the update, for example, we need to act on the points. So, um, right, here we go, update. So before we get rid of anything, we're gonna say for each points in self dot points and we're going to do each point in fact we'll call it each point dot update so that then updates so we've checked for the explosions in fact we'll do it after we've done the have the bullet have the bullets hit the hostiles so we put the points on the screen straight away so we do the update yeah and then in the draw we do the exact same thing in the draw so we draw everything and then we draw the points we draw all the points on the screen Um,
when the explosion is not going to get in the way of the text. No, because I'll explain that in a minute. We just need to do something in here as well because we've missed something. So if each point dot alpha is equal to zero, right? Then self dot points dot remove each point. We don't want the array getting bigger and bigger and bigger, yeah? So when the alpha is zero, when the alpha is zero, we get rid of it. Yeah? Now, the way the draw works is it draws in order. So we're drawing all the sprites that are, that are just ordinary sprites, yeah? That's why the that's why the the aliens go over the top of the ship because we draw the ship first, yeah. Then we draw the bullets. That's why the bullets were on top of the ship. Then we draw the hostiles. That's why the hostiles are on top of the ship. And then we draw the explosions, which are on top of the, which are on. So it's all layered. As you draw them, it layers it up. So because we're putting points on last, that will be on top of the explosion, yeah. That won't be on, underneath the explosion. So that should be, that should be it. That should be it for the points. So let's try it out. So here we go. Let's see if we get any points. And boom, we crash. Point object has no attribute draw. Really? Oh. Yes, you are right, Mr. Computer. Sorry for the confusion. Oop, wrong one. Oh, that changed. That was not fair. Oh, I can't. Oh, pygame.font has no attribute font. Really? Uh, point 0.18. Ooh, have I typed that wrong? Is it a big F? Oh, it's a big F. Font dot font. Right. And I am going to cheat because it's hard to hit those boxes. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put the. Uh, I'm going to put it on level one. I'm going to put it on wave one. I'm going to cheat. Ooh. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, oh, it's because I'm doing this, aren't I? Um. Yeah. Yeah, when we've not even done that yet. There we go. Right. Let's see what happens when we blow them up. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, that's not too bad either. Nice. <laughs> Let's get some more of those. Wave four, wave five. Let's have plenty to shoot at. Oh. Oh, 
I've done wave five, didn't I? Uh, no, 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 it's not wave five. It's level five. There we go. Yeah, thank you, mate. Oh, look at all these. Let's get rid of him. Get rid of him. Did you see it slow down? Did you see it slow down? Because of all the points on the screen. Oh, let's put rapid fire on. <laughs> let's put rapid fire on. This is going to really slow it down, I think. Right, here we go. Rapid fire. <laughs> Maybe we've got it on the screen a little bit too long. Um, let's say two seconds. Right, here we go. Maybe two seconds is too long. That, I think that's better, isn't it? I think that was better. It didn't slow it down too much. Right, ready? The the numbers last as long as the um, last as long as the explosion. Watch. Ready? Yes, that's what we want. That's what we want. <laughs> like it. Like it. Right, so we've got the we've got the point system on it now, so we can then got a fly knocking around. <laughs> well, no, we've we we haven't almost finished it. We've had a few bits, a few more bits to it. Right, let's do the uh, boxers. Wave four. Right, let's rem that out and put the boxes in. Because uh, we still haven't worked out how we're going to introduce these, yeah? Right, let's see if... Because the boxes, I think, were 250 points, weren't they? The boxes. Ooh, what didn't it like? Oh, it's wave five, isn't it? Sorry. Hey, Doctor. Welcome. Yeah, here we go. So this is this is now the boxes with the reflective coats. Right, here we go. Two hundred and fifty. Two hundred and fifty. We can't kill the ones when the white. <laughs> Love it. 250 points. Come on, change. Yes, get in there. Got that one. Come on. That cyan colour does isn't doesn't look that bad, does it? It doesn't look that bad. Nice. Right. So we've we've added the points. Oh, I need to get rid of this print, don't I? Where's where's the boxes? Boxes, boxes. Boxes, boxes. I need to get rid of that print. 
and we'll get rid of this as well because we don't need it now we don't need it right so Gary Meg's doing the swoopers so um, I think we I think we should do what's the next one on the list the buzzers are oh, the buzzers they're the one that goes that way that way that way down that way that way that way down yeah now that should be pretty easy to that should be pretty easy to implement that way that way that way down that way that way that way down um, so wave through wave three Wave three. So the so these are these are the swoopers. So that means these are the buzzers. Now I've I'm just thinking now. Um, Oh, should we do that? Should we do that? Oh, <laughs> I've got an idea, and I'm, I'm. Should we do that? Um. Oh, <laughs> that'll be interesting if we can do that. <laughs> right. Let's get the let's get the class scaffold up scaffolded. Uh, oh yeah, it's right. And hostile. Um, how how? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we could. Add, I mean, um, the boxers dropped bullets, didn't they? The boxers dropped bullets, didn't they? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They just reflected. They reflected. Right, okay. Let's let's implement the reflected. Let's implement the reflected. Because that is, that is what it is, right? So, what we need to do is we need to... I'm just thinking, just thinking, we have bullet, yeah? Yep, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. So let's create another. Let's create another. So reflected bullet. Right, so let's copy the standard stuff. Let's copy the standard stuff. And we'll make it we'll make it hostile mob. Alright, so bullet, bullet, bullet. 
We'll grab that and then we'll modify it. Yeah. Right, we'll modify it. So we're using hostile, yeah? So let's get floaters up on the screen. There we go. And go back to reflected bullet. So. And hostile. Why are you? Oh, I put a call on there. That's why. Um, right, reflected bullet. So um, it doesn't have a wave. Oh, we might not be able to use hostile. We're not going to be able to use hostile. That's based on wave, isn't it? So element. That's it. Base it on element. Right. So we will not use that. We will look at bullet and use that as our guideline. Right. So, um, we'll, we'll reflect the same one back at them. Um, right, this is where it's going to be different because we are going to. 270 so we rotate it 90 degrees now we're going to rotate to make it point make it look like it's pointing at us we're going to rotate it 270 degrees yeah so we add the image then we flip it and then add the image again set it to that right okay now are we are we having the same speed back Cool, that's going to be frightening, isn't it? Having it the same speed back. <laughs> dangerous. Dangerous. Right, so it's not minus one, it's going to be one. And yeah. Got our tick frame. Our alternator. Right, so this time we are saying if self dot y is less oh because we're going up, aren't we? We are going up. This That should be zero. If y is less, oh, left, less than the height. Okay, less than the height. Right. So this one is going to be settings dot uh, screen dot height plus. So it completely goes off the screen. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. Right, so in game, where we do, here you go. If it's not reflective, right, we don't kill it, else it is reflective. Right? And, oh, we do the each bullet here. Right, okay. So, we are going to be doing self dot hostiles because now it's a hostile dot add and let's we need to import our new class reflected bullet so 
So add reflected bullet dot reflected bullet. And we are um, game. Oh, we don't need wave. Get rid of that. Game X and Y. Okay, so game X and Y. So self for game. And this time it's the bullet. We're reflecting the bullet. Re bullet dot X, comma, each bullet dot Y. So that creates an instance, that creates a new sprite in the hostile collection based on reflected bullet. And we take the X, Y coordinates of the bullet. Right, that should do it. That should do it. Right. This is going to be fun trying to hit one that's white. Oh, come on. Oh, it's still asking for wave. It's still asking for wave. What have I copied that I shouldn't have done? Oh, this. Um. Element. Are we, are we loading element with wave? No, I didn't think we were. No, I didn't think we were. Right, okay. Reflective bullets, not element. Get rid of that. Oh, oh, I see. I see. That's why we need wave. Okay. That's why we need wave. We're changing the bullet, aren't we? We're changing the bullet on every wave. So, um, game. That's all right. Um, self dot wave. Right, I've got it in battle mode. Each host. Oh, reflective bullet. I'm dead. Right, because we're putting in the hostiles, we've got to make sure that it has the right parameters, yeah? <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> Did you see it? Oh, what happened there? The reflective bullet, bullet does not have... Oh, right, okay. Um, okay, um... Right, um, how are we going to, uh, if our bullet is hitting another bullet? Here's me overthinking it, and you come and with a simple, simple solution. C 
simple solution. Okay, let's... Yeah, and it means that the reflected bullet can be blown up, right? Uh, we need to give it a value. Um, and what I'm going to do... <laughs> One million. Really? That if you hit your own bullet, you get a million? Nah. 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 We need to... Uh, we need to sort out the hitboxes anyway. I think we need to sort out the hitboxes anyway, because I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute. But well, let's just sort this out and see if it um, gets rid of it for us. Because we need to put the function to show the hitboxes. There we go. So that reflected back. Yeah, look. So we get zero points for hitting the bullets back at us. There we go. Right, so we need to put the we need to do the hitboxes. We need to show the hitboxes because you're going to see you're going to be amazed how big these hitboxes are. Right, so in game, in game, in events. Now I think I've done this in Hunchback. So let me load Hunchback in. Um. I can't see the point in reinventing the wheel when I've already done it. Right. Uh, game. Oh, I would love a coffee. Thank you. Thank you. Um, right. So, I think it's in events. Here we go. It's here. Right, so let's copy that. So basically, in game events, which is here, yeah, we're going to add something else and we're going to say hitboxes. And we're going to use the H. We're going to say H. He's going to show the hitboxes. So let's initialize hitboxes in game. Right, and now what we do in hitboxes is um, in the draw, we're going to draw every hitbox that we can see. Yeah. So this is going to be fun. And we'll do the player one as well. So in draw, that's where we're going to draw the hitboxes. Yeah. So we're going to do it on the last, last thing. Right. So this is what I did in, in Hunchback. So it's slightly different. Because I've learned a bit since then. So we need to. Uh, so it's not every. Sp it's not in enemies. It's now in hostiles. Yeah. And we have got screen. Not stage. So let's just grab that. Uh, settings dot colors right um self dot player I think that's what we called it wasn't it but capital P self dot player
We don't have a goal. And we do have this. Right. Right, that should activate our that should activate our hitboxes. Right, let me go back to wave one. So we're just having the floaters on the screen because it's easy to watch. Right, let's see. Oh, what have I got? What have I done wrong? Why are they the wrong? Oh, wave two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Right, so H. Boom. Right, okay. Oh, we don't have red. Really? We don't have red in the colours. I'm sure we had red. Red, red one. <laughs> it's because we got more than one red. Where's the update? Where's the draw? There we go. Right. Red one. Red one. We got a blue. What's wrong with red? No, red five. <laughs> Have we got a red five? Oh, we had red four. <laughs> In fact, that should be red, not red one. That's stupid. That's stupid. I'm gonna have to look at all, look at the colors. I'm gonna have to look at the colors. Right, let's try this again. Right, H. Now, what's it moaning about now? Radius. Has no radius. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Um, we haven't set up that yet. So let's just rem that out. And rem that out. We haven't set that up yet. And this is why I want to talk about hitboxes. Right, H. There you go. They are our hitboxes. Right. And uh, let me activate the hitboxes for our bullets as well. So, um, so we do the same thing for bullets. But. that as well uh, we'll make them blue because they're they're us they're us they're us right so ooh. oh have I mixed So I have well well spotted sir. Yeah, well spotted sir. Well spotted. Right, um Right. So we should so H for hit. so there are hit boxes. Oh, why are the aliens blue? Oh, don't. Oh.
Right, they're the hitboxes, and it means that if a if if we just touch anywhere inside that hitbox, it would class it as a, a as a, a thing. Right? See, look at the hitboxes for the lasers. They're massive. Right? The actual lasers are massive. Let's see if I can catch it. Right, here we go. See, the, the hitboxes for the lasers are huge compared to the lasers. Thank you. And, and this is because the image of the laser has got a lot of white space around it, yeah? So if I, if we go into the lasers, and we're using set C, aren't we? So if I open that in paint, look, there's an awful lot of space there's an awful lot of space around it, right? Which is a bit of a problem because really we should we really we should be only. It's because of the hue, isn't it? The hue goes on for a while, and so what happens is the hitbox is made that, yeah. Now, there's another way of having hitboxes, and which is what I did in Hunchback. So in Hunchback, so if we fire Hunchback up, right, and if I do H, we put the hit, the circle is the actual hitbox. Yeah, so we're saying that yeah, the feet and the feet of the bad guy could possibly touch, right? But if the two boxes touch, so here we go. See, look, the two boxes are not touching, right? But only when the two circles touch do we die, yeah? So... And it's a different function in Pi game that is. You have to tell it, you have to tell it that you want to, instead of using like we're doing here, we're using the square, you have to tell it you want to use the circle and then you decide how, how big the circle is for the best fit. Yeah? I mean, I mean, our, the, our, our, our weapons are massive. You know, the hitbox on the laser is massive. So the question is, do you want do do we want to um, go down the route of making the hitbox a circle, or are you happy that the fact that the hitbox is a big, big square? You think it's okay? I mean, let's just see. Let's see. Um, let's just see how we define. Oh, this is Myriad. I don't want Myriad. I want Hunchback. Right, let's see how we um, define the hitbox. Ah, there it is, radius. 
So that's what we need to do is just need to put radius in. Yeah. Um, yeah, there is a sort of performance hit. Yeah, there is a sort of performance hit. But we we can we can add it. Yeah, we can add it. So uh, let's copy that, and we'll put it into our base class. Yeah. So elements. Here, so we'll put it into our base class. So where we set the uh, animation frame here, we then do this like that. All right. So in game, in game, we should be able to activate that uh, bullet reflected bullet. Reflected bullet, that's, um, oh, we set animation frame anyway, but bullets we don't, we don't. We'll take the bullets back, whoa, back out. Right, so that should show the circles now. Oh, hang on. Oh, I did the same thing again, didn't I? I made it bullet. Right. Hitbox. Oh, uh, what's that saying now? Um, Width greater than the weight radius. The width is greater than the radius. Oh, hang on. Do I set the radius anywhere else? Ah, yes, here. There we go. So at the moment we've set the hitboxes and they're way too big. They do colour, but it does it does mean that the the circle hitbox would be too big. So we'd have to reduce it down a bit. Um, so let's go eight. So that's made them a little bit more realistic. That's made them a little bit more realistic. And then what you do in to do the detection, you have to go here, collide sprite, and it's a different function altogether. It's different function altogether. Let me find it. Um, Update. Uh, da, 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 da. Activate sprites. Uh, collide. 
Get sprite, collide, draw text. Oh, okay, so we're not doing that. Okay. So it must be in here. Perform dying. Here we go. Self.enemy hit. That's the one. Right, okay. So the command is slightly different, yeah? So we'll put a thing and we'll say this is a regular square hitbox. Yeah? Now this one, uh, using circle hit box. Ha! <laughs> circle hit box. And we have to put this on the end. We have to put that on the end. So we're telling it now that we want to test using the collide circle. Yeah. Now let's see if that's going to cause me an issue. Hitbox. There we go. There we go. Now the what's happening now is the um, if you notice the the bullet is actually entering the hitbox. Um, I don't know how we can slow this down. Oh, we could slow the bullet down, couldn't we? Let's temporarily slow the bullet down. Um, Let's temporarily slow the bullet down. Let's, um, let's make it four times slower. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Spectre Misfit, welcome. Thank you for, for following. Hope you're doing well. Happy Easter. Nearly said Merry Christmas then. Misfit. Right. Oh, <laughs> they've gone down to the bottom. Hang on. We'll let, wait till we go back to the top. Right. Here we go. Fire. 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 Here we go. Ooh. I think we need to slow them down a bit further. But that's a nice effect as well. Oh. <laughs> Right, let's slow them down a bit further. Right, so here we go. It should encroach. It does. Right, turn on the hitboxes. Fire. Come on. There. Did you see it? It didn't blow it up. It only blew it up when it went into the circle. Oh, that's a rubbish shoot. Nice. There we go. Right. Well, the uh, I this game has a Git repo that we're constantly updating. So, what? what um, one of the guys, if you want to send him the repo link or her the repo link, please do so. Then he can go and grab what the current development is. So, as you can see, I'm going to do that again. Our bullet is now no longer colliding with the square. It's now colliding with the circle. Yes. That's more like it. So, all our bad all our all the hostiles, all the hostiles will now be using the circle as the hitbox. Yeah? Um, we when we come to doing the the ship, we'll we'll think about how to do the ship because I think I think the ship. Let me fire it up again. 
put the hit boxes on. I think the circle should encompass this bit here. Thank you, sorcerer. Thank you. Um. So we've got we've got the collision. I'm gonna have to speak. Uh, but those lasers do look pretty awesome when they do that, don't they? <laughs> nice. Right, let's put them back to the normal speed. So we should be back to uh, mega fast speed. There we go. There we go. Nice. <laughs> that last one was a... <laughs> not a... <laughs> it was a... <laughs> right. So, we've got the hitboxes sorted out. We've now got a visualisation of the hitboxes by pressing H. So we can now see the hitboxes that would be used. So, um, what... We was thinking of doing... Yes. I got slightly digressed, digressed by the um, by the reflected bullet. Right, let's put let's put wave five back in. Wave five back in, and we'll turn off and we'll put the boxes on. I want to see that. I want to see if the reflected bullet has its hitbox on it. Yeah. Right. So we will. Oh, does it? Oh, we'll have a play at that. Right. So we're gonna. I'm gonna slow down the reflected bullet to three because I don't. <laughs> I want to see what's going on. Yeah. Right. Right. So here's the new aliens. So when they go white, they become protected. Nice, right, H, right, so they're the hitboxes, yeah. That, that circle is pretty, pretty, pretty large. Oh, that's, a, there we go, oh no. Oh, turn white, turn white, turn white. <laughs> right. That's something we need to, that's something we need to think about, yeah? The hitbox on the reflected bullet. Um, I'm just wondering if we need to separate out the reflected bullets from the hostiles and have them as just the normal squares. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking of maybe having a another another sprite collection just for the bombs and bullets and the mines, I suppose, the mines. Yeah. Who have we got on here? Oh, lots of people short. All right. Um, yeah. Let's do that. So we've got bullets. So these are our bullets. Hostiles and explosions. Um, so I think we're going to need to have um, a good a good word for it. A good word for it. Um, Ordinance. And I spelt it right. Right. So we've got any ordnance, so mines, bombs, reflected bullets are gonna be in that, yeah? So we need to make sure that we've activated everything. So um, 
we need to put it in here. Um, we need to um, put it in the drawer. And we need to do the same thing here. So ordinances. Is that a word or is it what's plural of ordin ordinance? What's plural of ordin ordin ordinance? Will that have an issue with that? No, it don't. No, it, don't worry about it. Py, py, Python's ordinance. <laughs> Python's not worried about it, so it's not going to fall over. Right, so we'll draw that. And then we just need to... Um, when we create the reflective bullet, we don't put it in there. We put it in ordinance. All right, and we need to then check ordinance as well. We need to check ordinance as well, yeah. So, um, That's how I spelt it, isn't it? Each, so each bullet for ordinance. Now, a, bu a, a bullet is done, isn't it? It's not dead. It's not like an alien. But I mean, I see where I see where you're coming from. I see your logic on that. Right. So on ordinance hits. So this is where we're checking to see if we've hit anything that's been thrown at us. Yeah. Um. Ordinance or din ants. Look at me checking my spelling. Right, so the audience doesn't have any, it doesn't have reflectivity, yeah? So, oops. So it doesn't have any of that, so we get it to explode. And they don't have any values, do they? Mines don't have values, do they? Let's find the um, miners. No, they don't have value. Right. So we don't give, we don't, we're not going to put any points on the screen. But if we do, we'll leave it there anyway. So, we check the hostiles, blow it up, say the bullet's done. We can still check the same bullet on the ordinance. And then that will be done.
Yeah, that should be done. Right, let's just check that that works. So hitbox is on. Oh, you think you've got it and it throws a curveball. There we go. Right, so we're going to turn off the hitbox detection for the ordinance to be normal, yeah? Right, so we're just, just going to use normal squares. Uh, we'll turn off the circle so we don't see the circles, but it should be just normal squares. Right. Come on, go white. That's better. That's better. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So reflected bullets will put back the speed back. Right, I'm happy with that. So we've got reflected bullets um, with the hitboxes. We've now got the hitboxes, so we can see what we're going to do. So, next, 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 next. We was going to, before the squirrel moment, we was going to um, do the... Um, What was we going to do? The buzzers. That was it. The buzzers. Right. I'm going to take a small break. Because to get rid of all the coffee I've got had. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I won't be a sec. And we're back. Right, let's upload the changes that we've done already. So what did I upload last time? Uh, at two o'clock, so what did we add? Did we do aliens, 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 waves, aliens? Right, okay, okay. So, we're going to add the new boxes, the element, the gameplay, the reflective bullets, the settings. Uh, what else? We haven't added any new assets yet, have we? No. Oh, the fonts. Let me add, let me find the fonts. Here we go. Right. So I think that was it, the fonts. I don't think there's anything else, I don't think. Right. So, um, Episode three uh, at was it fifteen thirty eight my time added points reflected reflected bullets and hit boxes. Wow, we're only allowed fifty. Get rid of some of these spaces. Episode three. There we go, that'll do. Right, let's push that to the repo. 
Right, you guys will be able to grab it any second now. You guys will be able to do a fetch and so have what I've now got here. So, buzzers, buzzers. Let me know, guys, if you get if you, you've got it all, yeah? And you don't have any arrows. Right, buzzers. So let's create a new class. So we're going to do the same thing as before. Grab that. Put it in buzzers. Class. And we are inheriting hostile. Woo, no, we're not. We're not inher inheriting hostile. Hostile. Right, so where's floaters? Let's put that over there. Buzzers. Right, so we're essentially going to be doing the same thing as floaters. Essentially. Essentially. Right, so. Wave, so that should determine the right set. Got the rows, determine which way it's going to initially go. Now, the buzzers, how do... Top of the stairs barking. Mr. Amazon has arrived. Mr. Amazon. Mr. Amazon. Right. So, buzzers. Let's see. So, buzzers are three. Wave three, wasn't it? So we've gone too far. Let's go later on. Right, is that wave four? Yes. Wave two, here we go. So we're on wave three, so the buzzers are on wave three. Now I think they do that and then go down. Yes, they do. They do the zigzag and then they go down. And then when they go to the bottom, they start on the zigzag again. Right. So if we load up alien and find buzzers. <laughs> Nico's trying to get in the box. <laughs> right, buzzers, right. So they calculate the X. Direct, oh, we calculate the X direction, so it must be a random direction on X. That's fine. That's fine. And then when we do the execute, so it's a 4%, oh, right, so it's the 4% test, and then we drop. And... Um, other than that, we use the sidewinder action. Right. Okay. That's going to be pretty simple. So I'll move that there. Are you with me? Are you all still with me? Yeah. So. The direction is going to be a random direction. So self dot dx equals self dot determine random direction. I think it's that one it just returns back a literal, I think. Yeah. Calculate star x. I just want to check is that the one with the 
calculate star x. Is that the one where... What do you mean it's not in there? Of course it's in there. Am I at the bottom? Oh. There we go. Right, okay. Okay, so we don't have a zero. We don't have a zero. Right, I've got a function somewhere that does that, haven't I? Hostiles. Let's put hostiles there. I've got a function that does that, Enter. There. But that's determined diagonal start position. So let's do a copy of that. And determine start x direction. That will do that. I'll do that. So return dx and then that gets put into there. So that's det that's determine our start direction, right? So, um, we're wrapping the top, wrapping the top. Um, but the thing is now is we put it up there and we go, we go back into we go back into um, the zigzag, yeah? So when we get wrapped to the top, we need to change to the fact that um, now, um, how am I gonna do this? I suppose we could check, I suppose we could check exactly where it is because if we've just come out of this it should be that it should be at that point if self y is equal to all of that because if we've just wrapped then that should be the position where it is at the moment and if we're at that position then we can do this we can get it to randomly work out dx again and self dot dy is equal to nothing so it's it then starts doing the zigzag yeah um yes i i'm now regretting putting this movement timer in here Well, that's fine because we can do this if uh, self dot d dy is equal to one because they never go up you got to remember that the the swoopers don't go up they do that and then drop and do that and then drop so if dy is equal to one then we do all the drop mechanics, yeah? So we do all the drop mechanics. So, um,
We've tested that we're we're all right at the top. We've tested that we're okay there. So um, pass. Well, in fact, we'll say zero. If dy is equal to zero, then it's going to do the dig zigzag. Else, else. Now, else. Are we elsing? We're doing the drop, but we've already set. We've already set. So we're doing the zigzag. So now it's the 22% check, isn't it? Buzzers. Buzzers. It's 22, isn't it? No, 40% check. Right, we need a new one. We need a new one in here. Now, I'm now wondering. No, it's just for a couple of lines. Nah. So 40% check. There we go. You could see what I was thinking. I was thinking that these are essentially the same, but with a different value. So why not do that? But I can't see the point. It's just going to save a couple of lines. And it's not like that these routines are going to change much. So here, if self dot 40%. So if we've hit the 40% mark, we change our direction. So self dot d x equals naught, self dot d y equals one. Yes. That's checking the Y, isn't it? Wrap top to bottom. Yes, yeah, so it's still doing the move. Okay, so it's still doing the move. Um, and the zigzag is doing the horizontal move. So that should be it. That should be it. Right, let's get ourselves put into game. Don't want you in there. Game, where's game? There it is. Right, import uh, buzzers. So we are wave one, two, we're wave three, aren't we? Yes, wave three. I'm getting an error about Alien 15 when setting to wave one. What's the error, mate? Can you put it in uh, Discord for me? Let me know when you put it in Discord and I'll have a look. Yeah, it is. Have I not up? Did I not upload everything? I thought I did. Yeah, I did upload everything. 
Right, while you're doing that, let's see if this works. Yeah. Got too many things open. Right, let's get rid of points. Let's get reflected bullets. Don't need to use that. Explosions I'm not interested in anymore. Right, buzzers, main. Right, here we go. Play. They're not, right, okay, they're not going back. Okay. Yeah, it's adding boxes here. Turn off adding boxes. I don't know why it's adding boxes. It's trying to add the box. Have you got it trying to add the box? The question is, mate, do you have do you have this directory here? Wave 01 doesn't have alien 15. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Then. Right, um, hostile, wave, um, we are, right, we're setting it to point two, aren't we? So we need to override the scale, we need to override the scale to make it say point five, because I think it was too small, I think they were too small. There we go. So it did, it did, um, it, it's, it did it, but it's, it didn't do it very long, did it? It did not do it very long. Have I not, have I got the percentage? Oh, four, <laughs> right. You didn't see that guys. Didn't see, you didn't see that. Didn't see that. There we go. Now nah, they're doing it, but they didn't do it for very long though. And they are not resetting. <laughs> you saw nothing. Yeah, um The four percent test. The the question is that that oh it's I need the test in there. I need the test in there, I need this test in there. what I need. Need to change it on the movement counter. Right, let's try that. Now that 
that should be doing the zigzag. Oh, I see, I see, I see the problem. I see the problem. When we do the zigzag, we go to one and then it thinks it's dropping. Right. Right. We need, we need, we need, we need an, a different, different, different thing. We need a different... There we go. So, when it does this, self dot dropping equals true. And yes, I know, I know. I could hear you thinking it. Right, so, and then here, self dot dropping equals false. Right, I wonder if that sort sorts it. It's still, um, oh, that dope. They all went in the same direction. That was unique. There we go, that's better. Are you dropping? Are you gonna drop? Are you gonna drop? Oh, he's done it. Oh, there, no. None of you are gonna drop. What am I? overlooking oh hang on oh this this could be it um Could we be reset? No, we couldn't be resetting it. Forbes. Let's, let's just make sure. And self dot dropping. And not dropping. Then there's a four percent chance. After that, we don't do it again. Right. Well, he's dropping. He's dropping. Right. We need to speed them up because they're pretty slow. So what's the default speed in hostiles, or is it in elements, the default speed? Right, the default speed's in hostile. We need to up the speed. We need to make them faster. So let's do self.speed equals five. Oh, this is better. The the Y was still active, but I thought we cleared it out. I thought we cleared it out. Um
Oh, John, you've fallen into your own mistakes. Troublesome, aren't they? Right, what's the default? What's the value of um, buzzers? It was like 300, wasn't it? Two hundred. Cool, that one I was having a bit of a fit at the top, wasn't it? Oh, 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 I don't know, I don't know, I don't know which way to go, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we've got, we, we've got an alien that doesn't want to move. He doesn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, 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 do I go? Do I, do I, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he is definitely frightened of me. I don't know what to do. Oh, we're getting a few more. <laughs> oh dear. Um Yes, um it's because of that top test. It's because of that top test. Um this one here. So it keeps changing direction, but not actually stabilizing. Um, 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 how am I going to do this without wrecking everything else? Um, oh, yes, we could do that, couldn't we? Yeah, we could do that. And then here, we can say, um, and then we just check, check that here. That, that'd do it, wouldn't it? Right, we've up the speed, so that's why it's dropping a lot. So we need to doubt. We need to minute. We need to. Uh, we need to um, take it down. So we went from two to. Um, we went from two to five. So um, that means we need to re evaluate this every um, quarter. Let's try that. Yeah, that's better. That's doing it. Yeah, that's doing it. Now, um, so we've got the buzzers in there. Do 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 the do the buzz the buzzers don't drop bombs, do they? Do the buzzers drop bombs? Do 
The fighters definitely do. I couldn't tell then. Yes, they do. Right, they do. Um, they do. Where's the bomb? Where's the bomb? Code. Yeah, I mean we we can we can we can that's easily sorted that is. Just up the up the speed. Um so we did from two to five to seven. So that means we'll have to drop this down to say six. I mean, that speeded it up. The also the other thing is we could we can add difficulty by doing this. We can add difficulty by doing this. Make them a lot smaller. Could have a lot more on the screen then if we make them smaller. In fact, in fact, where's the floaters? Oh, do we scale the floaters? Yeah, it does look good. Um, It does look good. Right, okay, let's... Um, I'm fed up of rimming out. So let's do something about this. Um, there's no such thing as a switch in Python, is there? Or case. It's all if... If, else if, isn't it? nine waves that's all we have nine waves right boxes is on wave five buses are on wave three So we can just change the wave now. So wave one should. I'm now wondering whether we should make them smaller. And have more of them. Yeah, I am now more, I'm now 
yeah and quicker so we might right so we'll change the default speed yeah we'll change the default speed to say five which means that we need to change the default that to be four yeah because that's what we worked it out as and the scale is 0.2 that mean that means that the the, the they must be massive. Those buzzers must be, th those floaters must be absolutely huge. So we'll put a scale on. Uh, we'll do that. We'll do that. Right, so, let's see what it looks like. Well, they're way too... Whoa, they're way too small. <laughs> way too small. And also, we need to... Need to do that. Anyway, we don't need to do that because we're doing the default. Right, let's just do that. That should give us the size that we're on now. Yes. Right, so then we need to half them. Well, even half is a little bit small. Um, so if it's 0 0.2, let's try 0.15. That first one. Wow, the second one. It was it's the second one, it's having a glitch. You can tell it's glitching because of the the paws. They're twice the size. Wow. Wow. Right, so what I'm going to do now is we can do this. Because I think... Where are we? Um, oh, did I not put them in there? If, if you want to do that, just let me know, mate, so we can readjust all the, um, the, readjust them all, yeah? Yeah, it will simplify scaling. Um... Oh, see you later, Gary. See you later, mate. Right. Um... Oh yeah.
Loki. I have no idea why they're doing that. Oh, hang on. All oh, right, they're going the other way. They're going the other way. So how many can we fit on there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we can fit, yeah, let's fit 10 on, let's see if 10 goes on there, will they go on the same row, yes, so we can get 10 on a row, but one glitches, That's, that is, that is very weird, I don't care about that. Yeah, I don't care about that. It's going to add spice to it. So there are all the hitboxes. It's a feature. Right, I mean, we can now, I mean, we can, we've got now 10, so we could have, right, there you go, 20 on every level, yeah? Oh, that's gonna, oh, that's gonna make it really cool, isn't it? Right, let's try wave three, because we've got, so they're the buzzers, right. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right, let's try the boxes. Yeah, let's try the boxes. So level five, wave five. This one, this one will be hard because of the reflect. Ooh. Now, why is that doing that? It's the default scaling, isn't it? Um, yeah, um, was well, that wasn't meant to be that size, was it? small Why are they small? What have I done to make them small? Yeah, why are they not changing size? Yeah.
I'm not doing something stupid here, am I? Oh! I've made them floaters, haven't I? Yeah, there's no way we're going to dodge those bullets. There's a lot, lot going on there. I was just wondering if they're too big. Are they too big? Also, are they coming down too fast? Coming down rapid, they are. They are coming down rapid. Um, yeah. It's because we've set the def default speed and we have not altered it here. So let's let's alter the speed. So um, so we set it. Let's half the speed. Whoa. the default oh I put it at five <laughs> no no wonder <laughs> it's going bonkers there we go I mean that's still pretty quick that is let's knock it down to two let's knock it down to two there we go got a chance got a chance then right buzzers um, do have we affected buzzers now they're still going donkey speed Oh, this is looking nice, this game is. It's looking nice. Right, okay, so... Except for the fact that some of the images are massive. Right, that's buzzers done. Right, let's put. Let's do some meteors. Let's do some meteors. So, um... Meteors are still classed as hostile. And I have meteors. So we have got asteroids. Yeah, they're in asteroids. So small hours class. So I've got two sets. And with, and they've got, so we might have to do some 
Jiggery Pokery because this is set one, yeah? So this is a meteor rotating that way and that way, yeah? So we have three sets in that one. So what's set B? Okay, so um, they look like the different. Sh they look like the same shape but different colours. I think that's what it is. Set A and say set B. Yeah, they're all the same shape but different colours. So um, I'm. Yes, yes, we can have rotation both ways. So what I'm thinking of doing is um, putting these. Uh, how are we going to organize this? So we've got one, two, three sets there. And one, two, three sets there. I think we just should, we should just have six sets. I think we should just have six sets. Yeah, we'll have six sets. So we'll do the meters first. And Right, let's re let's reorganize these meters then. So, um let's go let's do the first set set A. Right, we'll do the first set and let's re let's rename them right so um meteoroid is that how you spell it i ain't got a spell checker no it's meteor isn't it meteor height like that meteor height So we'll have meteorite A and then the number. Right, so let's go in here and grab the first set. And then we will put them into small. Do it again. This time it's going to be B. Right, meteorite B. Put that into small. Meteorite C. And we'll put that into small as well. So that's set A done. Right, so we can get rid of set A. Right, so we're gonna do set B. So we're gonna do the same thing, but for set B. So we're on D now. So D. Oh. Have we got a D? Well, that's a weird error message. Didn't see. Now we're on E. Yeah. 
E. And then F. Right, so there are there are meteorites. Okay, so we'll keep that we'll keep that directory there because we got medium as well. Hey, great defender, happy Easter, mate. Happy Easter. Right, so we've got our meteorite. So the meteorites are done. So let's create the class for the meteorite. Right, let's copy the standard stuff. Right, um Placement's going to be a bit different now. Um, the placement's going to be a dip, bit different because um, we won't be placing it in rows. So what we need to do in in hostile here, where we've got the number, um, determine the placement. We need to miss this. So what we need to do is if uh, hostile number is equal to right not equal to zero then we're gonna set we will set where the X and Y is we will set the X and Y good that sorts that out right so problem is We're doing this. Now it's okay for wave four, because we can have the meteorites in wave four. Maybe that's what we should do. Or or we don't use the hostile, we just use the element. I'm wondering if we should use the element for it. Yeah, let's use the element for it. Let's use the element for it. So we're not using hostile, we're gonna use element. So to Right, where's element? I need to see element. I need to see element. Say what? <laughs> yes, Myriad will be ported everywhere. We have the blessing of Steve. He says we can do this. As a learning exercise, as a learning exercise for you guys. Right, so wave. Do we need wave? Um, do we need wave? No, we don't really need wave. Um, 
but we do need X and Y. So we don't need hostile number, but we do need X and Y and image duh. Image duh. Uh, okay, so X and Y, if I remember rightly, is a random number. I am looking at meteorites now. It's just a random number. Right, he randomizes the type and then he randomizes the random number. And then randomizes the direction. But they're always going down. They're always going down. So that's fine. So. We can do. We can do this. Um, we don't need to know the wave number. Uh, we can work out. We can work out the image by doing this, and we'll do the same as we did in Bullet. I quite like that clever little thing you did in Bullet. This here, Bullet set. But it's not a bullet set, it's a meaty, meaty or meteor set. So A, B, C, D, E, F. I think it goes up to F, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes up to F. So the meteor set and we make that we'll make that a random number so zero one two three four five that's that's six is it? zero to five six no five it's the index isn't it so and meteor set right um, the directory oh directory is that bit Rename that directory. Right, so we're still on small. Um, so asteroid small. Do that. Oh no, we don't need to do that. Uh, don't need to do that either. So, um, we need to work out X and Y. Right, Y will be Y will be um, We can't. We don't know X and Y yet. We don't know X and Y yet, so they can be naught and naught. And then image the uh, 
Right, so we've worked out the meteor set. Right, so we've initialized it. Uh, we are. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll need the self. I'm dead in there because it's going to go into the um, hostile collection. Also, oh, self. My value. I think it's 10 for meteor, meteors, meteorites. Um, and then self dot rotation. So we'll have it rotate, we'll have it going di the two different ways. So false will mean it's going the normal way, true will mean it's going the other way. Thank you, mate. Um, right, so let's load, let's load the images in. So we have got, I think it's 17 images. No, 16. Zero to 15 is 16. Right, number of images. We need to change that. So number of it, images is 16 then we load it and we grab that put that there and the name is is that Meteorite set dash and that's it. Now we're not doing wave. And we're not going to scale it. So we'll leave it like that. Let's just make sure we've got this right. Load anima oh this is doing load animation frame. We want load animation series, don't we? load animation series so image name we put that in image name number of frames is that is that an angle and we're not doing that yet And that gets so that gets added to our animation frames. Right, so we've randomly picked out an animation set. Um, we now need to define where we're going. So the first thing we do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab, 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 grab. I don't load it in, do I? Being hostile, I do. So we need to load the first frame in. Yeah. So we'll default it there. Right. So now we've got its height and its width. Yeah. So now we can work out where we're going to put it. So self dot y equals five plus whatever what did we put it as what did we put it as I know it's in here somewhere oh it's not in there it's in this one there we go five plus whatever so it's always going to start at the top yeah uh, self dot dy is always going to be one. Now 
the self.x is going to be a random number. So self.x equals uh, random dot rand int uh, settings dot playable area dot leftmost comma settings dot playable area dot rightmost Do you have a function to pick? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Um, and but that's going to be rightmost minus minus self dot rec dot uh, width plus ten. So that means it's going to be 10 in from the side. And we might, oh, we're going to do it there as well, aren't we? Got to do it there as well. But that's plus to make sure it's in it materializes in the screen all right so that materializes in the screen and then oh am i missing the bracket yes at the end on i there we go so that does that does the x and then self dot dx equals um oh we're not importing hostile we're not importing hostile so we're gonna have to um copy this function into uh, i'm just wondering if we should copy it into elements Determine random direction. I'm going to copy that into elements. Right, so that then should be self dot determine random direction. There we go. So that's moved. So that's moved that function out of hostile into elements, seeing as the hostile in, uh, inherits from elements anyway. Right. So that that should be it. We've set the frame. We've set the start point. We're good to go. Right. So we need the update. So, um, first things first, first things first. Oh, gonna have to drop something else as well. Yeah, fall off the bottom of the screen. We're gonna have to drop into elements. get it out there and also I'm thinking I'm thinking do we do that do we do that do we do that do we do that do we do we have a movement timer on elements or is it just tick counter I think it was just tick counter on it yeah tick counters fine tick counters fine I'm, I'm happy with that um, right so 
if we fall off the edge of the screen. If the if the ass Oh no they don't do they they wrap Yeah they wrap they wrap round I'm going I'm going to copy these two into elements as well Wraps, wraps from top to bottom and from left to right as well. It wraps from top to bottom and to left to right. So um, we'll use the tick counter as our frame So our frame. So we're going to set the fr animation frame with tick counter. So it's number of frames. And The rotation, I'm just wondering about the rotation. How are we going to randomize the rotation? Thank you, mate. Randomize the rotation, I think zero, I think we're going to do that. Random dot randint zero one. Right, so our rotation is going to dictate how we're going to look at it. So if self dot uh, rotation equals zero, then we're doing it in the normal way. Yeah. Else. We are going to do um, frame equals self dot number of frames minus self dot tick counter. And then this becomes frame. So that's our rotation. That's our rotation. Right, okay. Right, let's see if we can get this baby going. Because I've been streaming, oh, I don't know how long I've been streaming now. Five hours, five hours. So we'll put this in wave four. It's a definite record for me. And we don't put the wave in. Uh, 
Um, does Element have default speed? No, it doesn't. Um, right, it doesn't. Um, I think we should put speed in there. I think we should put speed in there. But yes, we need reflectivity in here, don't we? Good call, mate. That's a good call. Because that would have caused us big problems, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because we're putting it in. T <sighs> I'm now thinking whether to put it in the ordinance group, not the hostiles group. Because that doesn't that doesn't matter about. But you cut. We don't get any values on ordinance. Now we'll leave it as yeah. We just have to remember we've got to put these in. Got to put these this in, and I'm dead in. In fact, we'll put them together. Do that. Oh, and the value. That's required. Right. Game. Let's add it. So, meteorite. We just need to add in game. Just need to add game. Don't need to even add I. Because we are randomly picking out. So, wave four. Let's see what damage we can do on wave four. Uh, where's main? Well, we don't need that here. We don't need that here. Right, here we go. Oh, straight away. Out of range. Oh, have I done 16? And Oh, it's 15, isn't it? It's always one less. No. That is 16. It's here. Minus one. Okay, um, yeah, the rotation's working. Question is, are they rotating too fast? Oh, so we need to we need to delay. Yeah, the size is good, yeah. We need to delay um, just hitboxes. See, the hitboxes are way too big as well, so we need to sort out the hitboxes. Yeah, the hitboxes are way too big. Um, Do we have function in here for hitboxes? I 
there. Right, so we're going to put, on the animation frame, we're going to put another thing. So, uh, hit box scalar. We're going to set it to 0 0.8 like it is now, as default. So if we don't specify it. So we'll put that in there. But on the meteorite, we need to make the... We need to make it smaller. So, um, uh, let's see, point five. Let's try that. So, I'll put that in there. Put that in there and put that in there. Right. Let's see. Um, let's find. Let's do that, and then we'll figure out how we're going to delay. Right. Hit boxes. Oh, they're bang on. Call those circles are bang on. Right, so, <laughs> what a guess. <laughs> what a good guess. Right, so the circles are bang on, so we need to figure out a delay stra a delaying strategy. Um, so, um, we need a delaying strategy. Um, Okay. So we're going to say delaying is equal to true. Self dot delaying time equals right. So random dot random int. And we're going to delay between 0 and 5 seconds times by dot frames per second. Right, so here, if self dot delaying, we don't do any of this. And then we do else um, self dot yes yes we can do that self dot delaying oops self dot delaying time minus equals one. And then if self dot delaying time is equal to zero, you right, babe? right. So let's see if these delay coming in. No, they don't. Right, something wrong with my logic then. Oh! No, I, I got the delay wrong way around. Right, that's okay, but it's coming in. So it's coming in like, is is it a good idea to have it coming in waves or just? That's the random int doing that. 
Um, let's just do random. So random. Oh, does random? Do we? Can we specify? No. So random times five. So any number up to five seconds times that. Right. Let's see if we stop the the waves effect. <laughs> so it's never zero. Yeah. Um. One times five is five. Why did it not do any? Why is it not? I waited long enough. That is not working, is it? Random number times five. Then time, so it's five seconds maximum. Why is that? Oh, hang on. Oh, he's doing a float. Why is... What? Let's see what it was giving them. I think I know what it is. Um, I think it's to do with that. It would never be zero, would it? There we go. There we go. Well, because we're minusing one off a floating point number, it would never get to zero. You're right, mate. You're right. I, it's just clicked. It was just, it just clicked what you were saying. It was just clicked what you were saying. So now we should have randomly appearing rocks. I'm just wondering if the rotation's too fast. I think the rotation's too fast. So, um, Do we have a frame number? Yes, we have a frame number. Nice, 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 nice. Right, we have a frame number. So, uh, self dot frame number equals self dot tick counter divided by two. And I th think we have to do that, don't we? Right, so we're trying to I'm trying to slow it down by half, yeah. Uh, 
and then this can be times two. Right, see if that slows it down. It's still a bit quick. It's definitely slowed it down, so we'll do four. And we'll times that by four. There we go, that's better. That's a more realistic goal. <laughs> Getting bombarded. <laughs> Getting bombarded by... <laughs> We'd never survive this meter storm, would we? Right, get in there, get in there, kill them all, die! Right. Okay. So, uh, we can do... Meet the, the asteroids is gonna be the same logic as the meteors, I think. The asteroids are going to be the same logic as the meteors. Um, so effectively, I need to do the same thing as I did with the meteors with the asteroids. So we got this time we've got three. Well, there's two in there. Two in there. And two. Oh, three in there. So we could do the same um, with the asteroids, which are the big ones, yeah? So let's get that on because I'm not, I can smell my dinner being cooked and it's making me hungry. So we'll be closing this stream soon. Asteroid. <laughs> yeah, asteroid. A. That's how you spell asteroid, yeah? Aster... Yeah, she's going to be one in the bandwidth soon, yeah? Asteroid. Is, have I spelled asteroid wrong? That's how you spell it, isn't it? I-O. I-O. Yeah. Right. So let's get this done. So preview. So asteroid A. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hi. Okay. <laughs> I need to change the directory then. <laughs> right. Apply. Right. Let's let's do this. Set A. We've just done set A. So that's that lot. Put that into large. So B. Into large. So that's set A gone. Set B. So asteroid C. Oops. Asteroid C into there and asteroid D do that into there. That's set B done. And then set C is the final one. So set C. So D E. Apply. Done. Uh, F. Refresh. Apply. Done. And last but not least, G.
Right. Can get rid of that. Right, I need to spell asteroid right then, don't I? Oh, no, I spelt it right. Well, I never. I had spelt it right. Okay. So we need to just we need to just create a new one called asteroids. Yeah. Aster asteroid.py and just copy the meteorite straight into it. And also rename it to be Litlay. Uh, what am I thinking? Right. So this is large. And uh, we've got G in this one. So that's going to be add an extra one onto that one. Um, we'll keep the scalar. We'll see what the hitbox is like. And uh, we'll keep... The rotation will make eight because big asteroids rotate slower. But that's it. How many asteroids have we got? Fifth, 16. So we've got the same number. So that's it. Now, asteroids was uh, nine, wasn't it? Wave nine. Twenty five points, thank you. Thank you. Right, we'll change ourselves to wave nine. Fingers crossed. Meteorite. <laughs> oh, I got myself all worked set up then. Oh, asteroid. I suppose we better call this asteroid set. Asteroids in a wave. Well, we've we've got twenty. I think there's twenty. But I think they're way too big. I think they're way too big. I think we need to scale them down. Maybe I should have used the medium ones, but never mind. But we'll we'll scale them down. It, it's just because they're massive. Um. Animation set. Comma zero. Comma. Uh, 
I mean, to, oh, to be honest. There we go. That's probably better. To be to be honest, I mean. I don't, I, to, be, to be honest, I don't know why. I don't know why we're loading in all these animations because we could just get it. To, we could just get it to do a rotation. Oh, why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? Not bother loading the animation set, just load the first one in, just rotate it as it's going down. Oh, good point. Good point. Right, we'll leave it as it is then. We'll leave it as it is. We'll leave it as it is then. Good point. Right. So, what we need to do now is... In the... Um, in... When we... Um, When we on each of the waves, we have a 22% 22, 22 chance of a meteorite, 22% chance of an asteroid. So that's what we need to put in, in this, in here, yeah? No real-time 3D, I, I wish. I wish. Um, so, if wave... Is not equal to is not equal to four and or what self dot dot wave is not equal to nine so if it's not equal to four or not equal to nine then do this right um, where's that 22% chance now I'll do it as a random number so if random dot random is less than 0 0.22 then we're going to add a meteorite. Else, if, do the same thing, random is less than 22, we're going to add an asteroid. Right. So if we don't do that, we have a chance of doing that. Right, let's go back to wave one. Wave one. Let's see. Do we get meteor meteors and asteroids now in the... Oh, yes. Oh yes! Oh, we got something going up, going up here. I think we need to. I think we need to reduce that random chance. There seems to be a lot there. It does seem to be a lot there. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I may have misread it. Well, we'll knock it down to four. Um, game, 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 game. 
I'll knock it down a four. So we had two big asteroids, but we've got something going off up here. We got something going off up there. It's like we've got some stuck there, look. I wonder if that happens on all of them. Oh, we haven't got wave two, uh, wave three. Yeah, we got one stuck up in the top. All right then. Right. Let me let me uh, send this to you guys, yeah? So let me send this off to you guys. Um not including that one. Yes, it definitely is. Right, I'm just going to send this to you guys so you can grab it. Uh, let's do the asteroids as well. Here we go, asteroids. To there, add them. And then the meteors, meteorites, here we go. To them. I think that was it. I think that was everything. If I've missed anything, let me know, yeah? let you know when it's done it right that's done it so github is updated yeah yeah if you could do that we so so we still need to sort out the backgrounds as well um you know make sure the backgrounds are, are repeat repeating okay and Still need some of you guys to look at some of the aliens that we haven't done, yeah? Now, I'm going to... I'll look at... The mechanics to do the waves automatically and stuff like that. And then, in tomorrow's stream, which we'll do in the daytime again... Um, I'm not going to do a nighttime stream tomorrow. I'll do a daytime one. And, and we'll see how far we can get. Well, thank you very much for being with me on this enormous, almost six-hour stream. Yeah, the bug. Yeah, the bug of the alien. I'll, I'll look at that this evening. I'll look at that this evening while Mrs. OSK is streaming. All right, then, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining me. I hope this has been uh, informative and hopefully entertaining. Have a play with the code, it's in GitHub now, and, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care.
Thank you very much. Bye. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.